AI is here to stay. It's completely revolutionizing everything we ever knew about e-commerce. What I'm about to reveal in this video is gonna completely change the way that Shopify stores are built. In this video, I'm gonna take a AliExpress product link that I found and paste it into an AI store builder that I'm going to reveal in this video. And we're gonna see how this AI tool will completely build the entire Shopify store for us in less than a few minutes. Most AI store builders out there are nothing like what you're going to see today. This AI store builder will do all the heavy lifting for us, creating descriptions, the title, even AI images for us ready to start selling our product. I've tested a lot of AI store builders and nothing comes close to this one. And that's why I'm making a video on it today. So with that, let's get into it. All right. So the AI tool that we're going to be using today is called click build AI. I will have a link for it in the description below. And the way that this AI tool works is crazy simple. As you can see right here, you're going to be able to paste another Shopify stores link, Amazon link, or AliExpress link. For this video, we're going to use this example product, which is a men's castor oil curling cream. Kind of just helps people who have curls moisturize and keep their curls. So all we're going to do is we're going to copy the AliExpress link and we're going to paste it right here in the product URL. And just like that, within just a few minutes, it's going to start building a mock-up of how our Shopify store can look using the AI tool. So we're gonna give it a few minutes and let it load up to see how our store is gonna look. And just like that, the store looks insane. I mean, to think about that this was all generated through AI in just a few minutes, that's crazy. Now, of course, this is just the draft. Now it's now time to customize the store and make it into reality. But before we do, I wanna show you a crazy feature that Click Build AI actually has that I've never seen before. Right over here on the bottom right-hand side, there's a button that says Enchant with AI. And what that button will actually do is take all the images and create AI images for all of them. So let me actually show you what that looks like right now. I'm gonna click that button and we're gonna choose the color black and we're gonna press on start AI generation. There's a little time over here saying that there's gonna be about a three minute wait as it creates all the AI images. And just like that, the AI images are good to go. Now, as you can see, it's created some insane realistic looking UGC pictures of people actually holding the product. And of course, we can take these images and customize them by putting our logo or any anything else on it using a website like Canva. It's even created the key benefits talking about the product, people holding the product as if it's in their room. Now this is exactly why this AI tool is next level. So now let's remember, this is a mock-up and this is how our store is gonna look. You get to preview your store before you actually create it. So now that we like the store, we're gonna be able to press add AI power store and import this into our own Shopify account. So we're gonna create an account here if you don't have one already. Now we're gonna verify our email. Then it's time to link our store to the click build AI dashboard. So we're gonna click on create new store right over here. Then go ahead and put in an email you've never used before with Shopify right over here in the enter your email section. We're gonna choose a password, create Shopify account. Then you can put in a credit card or a PayPal. And the craziest part is that you can start your own Shopify account completely free, then just $1 per month for 90 days. That's 97% off and you can cancel at any time. So we're gonna go ahead and put in our PayPal address here and then we're gonna press on subscribe for $1. Now you can skip this if you'd like, but it's good to just get it done now. Then we're gonna choose the basic plan right over here and we're gonna press on add later for the business address and then press on skip and we are all set. Now we're gonna copy the URL of our store, go back into the click build AI dashboard and paste that URL, press on next, then press on connect the app and then press on install. Now Blocky is the app that ClickBuild AI actually uses to make sure that you have a high converting theme and to make sure that your store is properly optimized. You'll have a three day free trial to actually test out your store and then it's just $39.99 a month after that. And that may be a lot for some people, but just remember with one sale, that will be covered. So it's worth it. Press on approve over here and then press on turn on right over here. Then come back to the click build AI dashboard, press on create store. And just like that, the AI mockup that it created, it's now being imported and being built in your Shopify account. So in the next few minutes, it's actually gonna do all the work for you and put everything together so that we can customize the last minute touches and ready for it to go live. And just like that, we are set. Let's press on view my store, click on products and default product. 
Now, as you can see, you can customize any part of the store. If you don't like something that it says or how it looks, you can literally click on any section and then just change the text change the title. To be able to change the images, just go to the left-hand side and click on images or any section that you wanna edit. And then on the right-hand side, you'll be able to change it to an image that you like or to a video. So the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna create a new logo. We're gonna create a name for our store. To do that, we're gonna go to a website called namelix.com. Now, Namelix is a free AI store name generator. So all you need to do is enter keywords about your product. For example, in our case, we're selling a men's castor oil for curly hair. So let's type in curly hair and then we'll type in castor oil and press on generate. And then we're gonna keep it on auto, medium, and then just paste this into the business description and press on generate. Now we don't wanna overthink the name. We wanna keep it super clean and super simple, but also that sounds like a brand. And I actually really like this name. Let me know if you do as well. We're gonna click on edit because we wanna make sure the background's white like that. And we're gonna keep the colors black to make it really, really clean and branded. Just like that, we're good to go. We're gonna go ahead and screenshot this. Boom, press on save. All right, good. We'll come back into our store and then click on theme setting, logo, change the logo, select from library, and let's upload our logo. We'll make that a little bigger just like that. And that looks fire. Now, something else that we're gonna do is just double check all the images to make sure that the product aligns with what we're actually selling. Now, since our product doesn't actually look like this, we're gonna swap it and make sure that our main image really looks nice with the product we're actually selling. One last thing before we do that and we finalize the last minute touches, we're gonna go to the checkout right over here and we're gonna add a logo to the header. Let's not forget about the checkout, the place where people actually buy the product. We're gonna keep it a little smaller and that looks perfect. Press on save. And then for buttons, we're gonna keep the color of our logo, which is black. And if you have a different color, just make sure that it matches the color. And then for accents as well, we're gonna put it as black. Just like that, we're good to go. We're gonna press on save and we never have to look at the checkout ever again. Now, the first thing we're gonna do is make a branded title. So we're gonna copy the title we have now, go into ChatGPT, and then we're gonna use this exact prompt, which I will leave right down below. We're gonna put, here is my product, and paste the current title. And just like that, it has made a bunch of different titles that we can use. I really like this one. So we're gonna copy it, come back here. We're also gonna put our name of our brand. So we start with your name of your brand. So Curly Karma. And then we're gonna put a little dash and that looks perfect. If you want, you can also change the description at all and you can remove any images or even edit them to your liking. So let's click on save over here. And since this isn't our image, we can either edit this on Canva and put our product here, which for the sake of just making this video fast, I won't be doing live, but you can click on it and you can remove it as well. And then for the other ones, if you want, you can even put your logo or anything you want. All you need to do is just press download on the top right. And now you downloaded that image and you can either use a graphic designer or a Canva to edit to your liking. Now coming down here to the price, you can change the price to your liking. And we're gonna click right over here and we can change the compare at price to make sure it's at least 50% off, which it is right now. Now, if there's different variants like sizes or colors, this is where you're gonna do it right over here. Or even if you want, you can add different options like buy two, buy three, which we're gonna do for this product. So choose an option. And even if you want, you can do quantity breaks, meaning you could tell people buy two and save, buy three and save even more to get people to spend more money on your website. Then we're gonna click on save right over here. And we also wanna make sure that inventory is off. Now we're almost done, so stay with me. We're gonna come to the settings and we're gonna finalize the store. For store details, we're gonna click on that and change it to the name of your store. In my case, it's called Curly Karma, which is a pretty sick name. Store email, you can create a Gmail for your store. I'm just gonna leave it just like this for now. We can always change it later on. Then it's time to set up shipping and delivery. So let's go through that step-by-step. Step. Click right over here. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna delete each and every single one. And we're gonna do the same thing for the second one. So delete. Then we're gonna click on add rate, use flat rate, custom, custom name. And this is where we're gonna put the shipping name. So you can name it something like standard insured shipping and either charge something like 299 or 499, something cheap for the shipping 
or just make it free like I'm going to do in this case. And we're going to do the same thing for the international countries. Click on custom, standard, insured, shipping, and keep it as free. Now, one last thing here, we're going to click on edit rate, add conditional pricing based on order price and keep it just like this done. Same thing for the second one and save. And now our shipping is all set up. Last but not least, we're going to go into the domains and get a .com domain name. Now, yes, I do 100% recommend this in order to actually start getting sales in your store because let's be real, no one's going to type this in to their website. And if anyone sees this, they're going to think it's a scam. So let's get a domain name so you look like a real brand. So click on buy new domain name and we're going to see if that domain name is available. And as you can see, it is available. And if your domain name isn't available, just add the word the or shop right before it, just like this. So since mine is available, we're going to press on buy and we are good to go. We secured the domain name and we're in business. Let's X out of here. And then we're going to remove the password on our website to make sure that we go live. So go to online store and then click on add store address, add address, and then remove password. And just like that, we're in business. Click on view store to see how your store looks like. Even click on shop now to take yourself to the product page and test out your store. Add the product to cart just like that. Or even press on buy now to automatically take you to the checkout. And just a quick heads up. If you just purchased your domain name, give it about 30 minutes an hour for it to get verified and for you to be ready to go. Now we just built this entire AI Shopify store step-by-step -step in minutes. And the craziest part is that if you come back to the clickbuildai.com slash dashboard, you can add more products at any time. So you can click on add product, click on next, add the product URL and name. And just like we did in this video, you'll be able to do with any product in the future. Coming down here on the bottom hand side, there's going to be a lot of different resources being added here to help you explode your e-commerce business. So look out for updates here. I hope you enjoyed the step-by-step -step tutorial on building an AI Shopify store in minutes. Make sure you hit that like button, subscribe button, and I'll see you guys in the next one.